Welcome to the Booker Man's Address. Now, first things first, we've got a lot to talk about, but first things first, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. And that elephant is that I'm not sitting here with gold around my waist. No. Alpha and Omega Lol, you put up a good fight, you managed to defeat the Booker Man and Copper. That's off to you. Well played, we've got new TNC Tag Team Champions in the Alpha and Omega Lol. Counting and staff here, watch your back though, because Booker Man and Copper are always, always going to be looking forward and looking for those tag team goals. So, this address is not about me, this address is about Sunday Afternoon Wrestling as a whole. We've made a few changes, the Booker Man's made a few changes here and there, and we need to talk about the next month. The next two shows which happen this Sunday, the next two shows which happen the following Sunday, and then following that Sunday, we have PNC Cash Cow, which is our next pay-per-view. Uh, first, let's talk about Scott Savage. Scott Savage has been putting up a hell of a fight, putting in huge performances, and he came up short against Lost Loran. Lost Loran is a fighting champion, and he'll be in action this, uh, this Sunday in the first show of Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. But the Booker Man's decided, due to the popularity of Scott Savage, Youngblood Scott Savage, he's given him another shot. At TNC Cash Cow, in three weeks time, Scott Savage versus Lost Loran. One more time. We run it back one more time. And then, we gotta talk about the big hosses beating those losers, Wrestling Inc. The big hosses open the show with a dominant performance over Wrestling Inc. And thus, they leapfrog the Booker Man and Copper, unfortunately, and are now the number one contenders for the TNT Tag Team titles. So, Alpha and Omega Lol, while also worrying about the Booker Man and Copper lurking in the shadows, you now have the big hosses at TNC Cash Cow. Let's see how that progresses over on Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. Yes! Let's talk about Jess, the Miami Slice, defeating the three-time TNC Women's Champion, AKP, or Kelly Kelly, as she's now known. Jess is the number one contender for the TNC Women's Championship. And Queen Rowcroft, fantastic performance against Frances. And I'm not ruling Frances out of this matchup. If Frances manages to defeat those that she comes up against this these next couple of weeks, who knows? Maybe Frances will be added to Jess's title match and make it a triple threat. We'll see how that progresses over the next couple of weeks. Now, the big one, the cash cow match, an eight man ladder match for the TNC cash cow, money in the bank. TNC Cash Cow is going to start off this Sunday with 16, let me count that right, 16 competitors, 8 matches, and those matches will be conducted over the course of the next 4 shows, so 2 show, two matches per show, I apologise for my mistalk, uh, it will begin this Sunday with a bit of a grudge match with Nero Classic taking on Gears. Now if you watched TNC Lashback, you would have seen Gears run his mouth quite a bit about the way the Bookman does his business. So the Bookman's ready to shut you up, Gears. I'm not gonna write checks that my ass can't cash, so I'm gonna leave it to this. I'll see you Sunday. Following that matchup, because of the bad blood between Wrestling Inc and Bookerman and Copper. The following first round match will be Fallen versus Copper. So the two tag teams are split into two singles matches. We'll see how the story between Wrestling Inc and Copper Dragon and yours truly unfolds as we go forward towards TNC Cash Cow. At least two members of each of these teams will be in the Cash Cow match. Now the rest of the Cash Cow matches will take place over the course of the following shows. 
Uh, first of all, we have Big Bear versus Tempesti. Big Bear, fierce competitor. He had a good showing in the Royal Rumble match. Tempesti, he was the last TNC champion before the project end uh, last time. Then we have King Kiri, who's a formidable guy who's been here for a very long time. He needs to make a stamp, make a statement, and he's going to have to do that against McFubal this Sunday in show two. Uh, next week, show one, will feature CM Chris versus Max Wrestling. Two big hosses, if you will. Uh, Sam Chris, following a big loss against McFubal, is looking to bounce back. And Max Wrestling is looking to make a stamp on his career here in TNC Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. Then you have Tiny Fat Rabbit versus Penny, uh, also on show one next week. Tiny Fat Rabbit, very popular figure among the TNC universe. Penny, one half of the TNC Tag Team Champions, is looking to break out on his singles career. Then, the following week, uh, sorry, next week, but that um, oh, please, no classic. Uh, that week, uh, show two, you'll have Starfjord, the other TNC Tag Team Champion, versus Trex. Trex is one of the most decorated stars here in TNC Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. And then you'll have a very intriguing match as Ramicus will go up against Larvi. Now, these, these two have got bad blood. They're a tag team, but they've got a very friendly... Bad blood rivalry kind of thing going on. I don't know how to explain it, but it's Larvi, so how do you explain Larvi? Uh, cash Cow qualifiers were determined via the TNC wheel randomizer, apart from the Nero Classic versus Years and Fallen Angel Copper Dragon matches, because of the bad blood between those two teams and the things that were said last Sunday. The following matches will take place over the course of the next few weeks, and we also have to talk about the new show format, and that is the Booker Man and the Booking Committee are putting together a set few matches per week, which leaves one or two per show matches that you guys can create yourselves. Now, what I want is for Sunday Afternoon Wrestling, what the Booker Man wants is for Sunday Afternoon Wrestling to be a very popular, very interactive show. And thus, when I'm creating storylines and creating promos for this show, I would like to see you guys, the wrestlers of TNC Sunday Afternoon Wrestling, interact and create your own promos, create your own storylines that we can incorporate into the shows. So what I'm asking for you guys here is, if you attend Sunday Afternoon Wrestling, you will get matches. If you don't attend, the likelihood is, you're not going to get matches. I'm hoping that the way the storylines will work, the way the power rankings are all rolled out, the way the matches have been rolled out, is to include people that are there. So that is our goal as a booking committee, that is our goal as the booker man is to create a show that is interactive for you guys. Because obviously, if you're watching a show, you're there, and you're not involved, then you're gonna be less, less interactive with the stream, with the show, as opposed to if you're in the matches. So what I want from you guys is to be there, support, cut promos if you can. You can send them to me on YouTube, via email, I'll put my email on screen, uh, via any of the things that you guys can do. You got Discord DMs, you got all that stuff. You can do any of it. You can, it can just be voice, it can be voice and video, it can be any of those things. The Booker Man wants you to be a part of Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. I've rambled on long enough. This is a 10 minute promo. The promo ended a little while ago. The information came thick and fast. But first things first, is this Sunday, we've got a hell of a show lined up, and Gears, your ass looks like you're chewing a biscuit. It's gonna be black and blue, but no, no. I'm gonna beat your ass, no. Gears, you're going down, no. See you Sunday.